Our senior business correspondent, Peter Armstrong, joins us now. And, and the size of these cuts, Peter, what does that tell us about what Air Canada is facing? Well, that, that it's in an unprecedented time that, you know, Air Canada has already told us they had reduced its schedule by 95 percent, Ian. The question wasn't how bad was it going to be at the peak of the crisis, but what it was going to look like in sort of the near future, the medium term. And today we're getting a glimpse at that. And it sure isn't pretty. I mean, in a given year, last year, say, Air Canada normally flies like 51 million customers a year. That's 1,500 flights a day. And what they said in a memo to employees today is that Air Canada hopes to ramp that back up to maybe 25% of last year's capacities. It's obviously going to need a lot fewer employees to manage that. And so they're looking at as many as 20,000 people laid off. And that is despite the wage subsidy program. It is. And they say, look, we'll continue to use the wage subsidy program for those who are continuing to working. But the program was designed for companies to keep employees on the payroll until the economy reopens. And what they're saying here is that when they look at what's going to happen in the airline industry writ large, when the economy does reopen, they don't anticipate business returning to normal. And we have to all think about what does that mean for us and for our communities? If they're reducing their flight load by 75 percent, what will that mean for cities and towns that are so dependent on air travel and air service to get them employees and customers and everything else? All right, Peter, thank you very much. You bet.